Welcome back to Austin News TV and today we're going to first look at Dennis Bergkamp confirming Daniel Ek's next move as Josh Kroenke responds to second takeover bid and then we're going to look at Harry Kane's response to Piers Morgan when asked about Arsenal transfer possibility. So the first news headline states that Dennis Bergkamp confirms Daniel Ek's next move as Josh Kroenke responds to second takeover bid. So the reports are stating that Gunners legend is a part of the Spotify billionaire's attempts to buy the club from Stan and Josh Kroenke along with fellow legends Patrick Vieira and Thierry Henry. Arsenal legend Dennis Bergkamp has confirmed that Daniel Ek has reached out twice to Stan and Josh Kroenke in an attempt to buy the club. The Spotify co-founder expressed an interest in buying the Gunners from the American owners in the aftermath of their decision to sign the club up to the European Super League without any consultation of fans. Despite reports suggesting that Ek was still yet to make any official bid, the Swedish billionaire took to social media last week to confirm that he had in fact made an offer to buy the club only to see it turned down by Josh Kroenke. And now Burkamp, who Ek has sought to involve in the takeover along with fellow Arsenal legends Thierry Henry and Patrick Vieira, has revealed that the Swede has reached out for a second time in an attempt to begin talks to purchase the club, but the Cronkies have again refused to even entertain the offer. I understand that. In addition to the offer, Daniel Ek has now reached out twice to Josh Kroenke and his bankers, said the Dutchman to Volksball International. Whatever Kroenke's intentions are, it would be good if we at least have a conversation with each other in the interest of the club. Regardless, Daniel is not a quitter and neither are we football boys. We are here to stay. Burkham also revealed that he, along with Henri and Vieira, had been contacted by the Swede who had put forward proposals for more fan involvement in the running of the club. Daniel has been an Arsenal fan all his life, a real. He has also appeared to be worried about the downturn at the club for some time when the Super League dominated the news for days. Daniel just about exploded. That was when we wanted to continue and he contacted us. Burkamp added, during a Zoom meeting with Thierry, Patrick and I, he shared his concerns and plans with us that made an impression from the first moment. It immediately became clear to me how deep the supporter relationship is with Daniel. I think that's important. Daniel doesn't see a takeover as buying a nice toy. On the contrary, he understands the passion of a football fan because he is one himself. Just like Patrick and Henri, I recognise the Arsenal from our time less and less. The ambition to win top prizes is in Arsenal's DNA, never accepting loss. Football, passion and ambition must again be central. We have plenty of ideas about the technical details, but it makes little sense to anticipate them now, he said. We are ready and so is Daniel. Fans are thrilled, now the current club management. So it looks like Daniel Ek has put another offer but the Cronkies have refused that offer and this has been confirmed by Dennis Bergkamp. So you have to wait and see how this pans out. So this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that Harry Kane's response to Piers Morgan when he asked about Arsenal transfer possibility. So the reports are stating that the 27-year-old was quizzed about the possibility of joining McClough set aside by celebrity Arsenal fan Piers Morgan on his former show Good Morning Britain. Harry Kane has yet to reveal his preferred destination this summer, but he's already gone on record to say it won't be Arsenal. The England striker has told Tottenham he wants to leave the club at the end of the season after an 11-year spell with the Premier League side. Manchester City and Manchester United are strongly linked with making a move for Kane in the upcoming window, but there could be a host of landing spots for one of the best strikers in the world. But it's unlikely it will be the Gunners as Kane dismissed the notion he wanted to return to his roots after he was at Arsenal for one year as a youngster before making the switch to Spurs. The 27-year-old was quizzed about the possibility of joining Miklos as a side by celebrity Arsenal fan Piers Morgan on his former show Good Morning Britain back in November. Morgan said, History with football shirts is quite complicated, isn't it? Because when you were a kid, as every gooner knows, you were a proud Arsenal fan. What happened to you, Harry Kane? Kane responded, 
Well, I played for Arsenal when I was younger and unfortunately for them, they let me go. I have been at Tottenham since I was 11 years old and I'm reaping the rewards of that now. Morgan then asked, are you itching to go back to your roots? Harry Kane replied, absolutely not, no. Tottenham are in a good spot at the moment, so I am happy. Morgan was referring to a picture that circulated a few years back of Kane wearing an Arsenal jersey at the age of 10 as he celebrated their title win in 2004 with his Freddie Lundberg style red hair. But the striker clarified the reason for donning it because he was playing for them at the time and he always loved Spurs. He said, I wanted to wear a Tottenham kit but I don't think that would have gone down too well. I was 8 years old. I was at Arsenal for a year and obviously I was just a kid, I just wanted to play football. I've been at Spurs since I was 11 years old, always loved the club, I've been here for 10 years and hopefully many more years to come. Morgan has reacted to the news that Kane reportedly plans to leave Spurs as he said on Twitter, oh no, along with two laughing emoji faces. So it looks like Harry Kane's response to Piers Morgan has suggested that a move to the Gunners is very unlikely and also do not have that same attraction, the same pulling power, the same passion, the same stature of the club as they did 10 years ago or 15 years ago when Sol Campbell made the switch from um, Tottenham to Arsenal. We can't do that with Harry Kane, one of the best strikers right out, right out there. For me, even though he's 27 years old, for me, even though he's playing for a rival team, he's one of the top strikers. He's someone that's definitely going to start in the England Euro, someone that's going to be our main striker when it comes to England. And for me, when it comes to Harry Kane, I would love him at the club, but we still have decent strikers like Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang at the club, who's in a very long-term contract. He still has two more years now, pretty much as the end season's going to end. So with Harry Kane joining the Gunners, it's just a bit of fun talk, but I really do not think that's going to happen. So we have to wait and see what Arsenal have planned in the summer transfer window. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.